We are now going to explore how to create or edit a video. Both steps will take you to kind of the same place, except if you're opening a video you've already started working on, it's going to have some media already kind of placed in there so that you can edit it. If I want to start from scratch, I can click the Create Video button. Now it's important that you start in the folder or the project folder that you want to work on. So let's say I'm working on this documentary project. I'm going to click Create Video, and the We Video Editor will load up. And once you're in the editing screen, you're going to have a couple of choices. Now the first is to choose which editor you'd like to use. Now if you look at this editing screen, you'll see you have a number of track layers at the bottom. You have your media here and you have some categories on the left to explore through. You have videos, photos, audio, transitions, and graphics. Now this gives you quite a few choices. Um, you have a viewing screen here. Now anything you want to add, you basically just drag it down to the area you want it to go on. Usually you put the main stuff on the main layer and then you can begin working. Now, this is very easy to do. Now this particular editor is the Timeline Advanced Editor. This editor gives you more options than any of the other editors. It gives you an option to have a main track. This also allows you to have audio so I can narrate this or add sound effects or add music. It also has this voiceover feature, so I can have background music and be narrating. Now it also gives me a number of layers at the top that I can layer video on top of my main video. This allows you to add photos or short clips or effects on top of your video. Um, it allows you to create cool effects in documentaries and things like that where you want to keep your main sound from your video going, but you'd like to switch over to some photos. You can bring those in very easily. But this is the advanced view. This is the most advanced timeline you can use. Now if I would like to change those, I can come over here to this little drop down and go to Timeline Simple. And it will automatically take whatever I've added to my project as far as media and kind of customize it for that particular editing tool. So this is the regular standard timeline. You'll see the controls on the left are a little bit different. I can't control the volume on each individual layer. It gives me a couple of video layers I can use, but it does not have the same full suite of options. It does give me basically the same media choices I have here, but I can add these anytime. So this is another option. Now the first option is the storyboard option. This is the simplest. Now that warning just said that some of the things you might have added to your project will not show up here. Because what this allows you to do is to choose photos or video, just drop them in the timeline, and then pick audio and drop it in. You cannot um, narrate your own audio. You can see it doesn't even give you the um, the audio record option that the other layers of uh, or the other levels of editing allow you to do. But this is a very simple for creating some sort of slideshow or quick video. So you're going to pick whichever tool fits your project need the best. Um, for me, I usually go to the Timeline Advanced just because it gives me the most options. Now all of these as I said before, you have the projects, media, upload, and account se sections here so that you can always navigate back and forth to those areas. You can always see what your media is. You can always upload media. And I can go back to projects and get back to my project if I need to. You'll see once I click that projects tab, it takes me out of the editor. But if I look over here, here is the video I just created. If I click edit, it's going to bring me right back to the video project that I had started editing. It has an auto save function, although you do have to name the file yourself if you'd like to have, a, have it have a custom name. In order to do that, you go to the right under Untitled Video, and you can click in and type in, so this is going to be my introduction. And I click Save, and it will now rename that, and it's capturing a, a thumbnail from everything. So it automatically saved, it gives me an option to click OK, but after five seconds it'll go away. So this is basically how you open the editor and how you begin working. We'll be going over the specific steps of creating a video later on.